We have introduced the definition of derivative and observed the use of the definition to compute derivatives. All the examples up to now involve differentiable functions. In this section, we see examples of functions and points where the function is not differentiable. From the definition of the derivative, we get 1. By plug into absolute value function, we get 2. 1 is positive, dropping absolute value sign of 1 in 2 gives 3. The limit is taken by sending h to 0. The limit depends on values close to 0. We can focus on h values whose absolute value of h is less than 1 half. As shown in the graph, we keep 1 plus h positive. We can drop the absolute value signs of 1 plus h. From the definition of the derivative, we get 1. By plug into absolute value function, we get 2. To drop the absolute value, multiply minus 1 by a negative sign. We get to 3 by dropping the absolute value in minus 1. Three negative signs give us a negative 1. We get to 4. Again the limit depends on values close to 0, we can focus on h values whose absolute value of h is less than one half. As shown in the graph, we keep one plus h negative. We can drop the absolute value signs of one plus h, but we have to multiply it by a negative sign. We get to five. How small we pick h to be at 0, h takes both negative and positive values and ends up being on different pieces of the graph. If we approach h from the left through the values less than 0, h stays negative. We have to multiply by the negative sign when dropping the absolute value. Limit from left is negative 1. If we approach h from the right through the values bigger than 0, h stays positive. We can drop the absolute value. The limit from the right is 1. Since two limits are different, the limit as 0 is undefined. <laughs> 